Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number 39. Now plain JavaScript objects are not iterable, so they don't work with the for of loop by default. So if we have an object, say person, with first name and last name as the properties, and when we try to use the for of loop with this person by saying let p of person console.log p, and when we run this and head over to the console, it says type error person of symbol dot iterator is not a function. So the for of loop doesn't work with objects by default. So in this video, let us see how to make this person object iterable. Now I already have the code typed out and we are just going to be going over the code and understanding because it is very similar to what we have learned in the last video. Now if you recollect or if you even have a look at the console, it says person of symbol dot iterator is not a function. So we start off by defining a function at the key symbol dot iterator for this person object. So our first line is going to be person of symbol dot iterator is equal to a function. And this function, we start off by declaring three variables that we are going to be making use of in this next method. So Initially, we're going to have the properties equal to object.keys and pass this person object. So properties is going to contain first name and last name. And then we have a count variable initialized to zero to keep track of the count. And we also have is done variable, which is going to be Boolean and set to false. And that is going to indicate if the iteration is complete or not. And if you recollect again from the last video, this method at the key symbol dot iterator implements a next function and this next function returns an object. So what this next function is going to do is if the count is greater than the number of properties for the person object, it is going to say is done equals true, which means that the iteration is complete. And then we are going to return done is going to be the same as is done variable. It's going to be either true or false. And the value is going to be for this object, the property at count or the value at this particular property. So the property, the value at first name and value at last name. So let me just move this on top. And now when I run this and head over to the console, we have Chandler and Bing. Let me clear this and run it again. There you go, Chandler and Bing. Now that is how you use objects with the for of loop. You need to define your own method at symbol.iterator key. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.